I am glad to share this devotional with you today. It comes from the book of James, James 1, verse 17. It's a favorite uh, verse of uh, a man named uh, Soren Kierkegaard, a Danish philosopher, and I'll re refer to some of his thoughts uh, later at the end. But this is a lovely verse tucked in the beginning of the book of James, uh, which is found, of course, at the end of the New Testament. And it reads like this. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. There are many things in this verse that remind us about God's goodness. Did you notice how the verse starts by repeating good gifts? Every good gift and every perfect gift. It's the same word gift, but the author, James, uh, repeats it twice, giving us the sense that good gifts have a source, and they come from the Father above. Now, if you're reading in the original language, it would be read like this. Every good gift and every perfect gift is continually coming down from above, giving us this idea that God is a good God, and he is giving us gifts repeatedly. And where do they come from? They come from above. And what type of heavenly father is he? He's the father of lights. And that brings out uh, goodness too, doesn't it? If we're on a, out for a walk and we are at night and can see the stars, uh, we can be amazed with uh, their complexity and uh, just the expanse of the heavens. And it reminds us of how big our Lord is and how wonderful a creator he is. Or if we're out uh, for... Um, uh, walking at a time of uh, sunset or sunrise, once again, when the sun comes up, the sun uh, goes down, we see, once again, God's goodness to create uh, uh, such lovely colors in the sides, in the skies. God, indeed, is the giver of every good and perfect gift, and it is continually coming down from him from above, the one who has created the heavens, the one who has created the heavenly lights. And there is no variation or shadow due to change. Indeed, our Heavenly Father is a good God, and he gives good gifts to us. But we are in a time where we might be wondering if things are so good. Many of us are uh, in the house uh, for now well over five weeks, and it might be uh, a little bit uh, dull at times. Uh, we might have a little bit of friction now and then, uh, one with another, and we might say, how is God good? How could God possibly be good when this is going on? I mentioned I was going to refer to Soren Kierkegaard. He is one of the sharpest minds of the 19th century. He was a profound thinker, a philosopher, a theologian, and also a social critic. And he had this to say about God's goodness, particularly if somebody was wondering, how can God be good? And Kierkegaard said this, in his upbuilding discourses, 18 upbuilding discourses. He says, how can one know if something is a good gift from God? It does not depend then merely upon what one sees, but upon what one sees depends on how one sees. How the observer himself is constituted is indeed decisive. How one sees. How are we going to see today? Indeed, there can be some things that are not uh, pleasing to us. We might not like being uh, locked up as much uh, inside. Uh, we might wish to be outside more, to circulate uh, around uh, a wide variety of people. But does it depend on our circumstances, or does it depend on our Heavenly Father, who is good, who the Scripture says is the one who doesn't vary or shift or change? He is the same yesterday, today, and forever, and he is the one who gives every good gift, every perfect gift that comes down from above. So I hope that today uh, you might uh, uh, think about uh, having the perspective of how one sees, and seeing now by faith that our God is good, and I hope that brightens and freshes uh, your day.